Hello everyone, I'm Tim from Tim's PC and I build custom PCs to suit anyone's needs or budget. Also live stream my builds and repairs for transparency and educational purposes. So if you would like to get an awesome new PC and you'd like to see it get put together live, send me a message today. Alright, so tonight we're going to be repairing a random PC that was dropped into me today. I know I said I wasn't going to do a stream tonight, but um, no, I've had another one get dropped in, so I figured let's just tackle it now. Um, I've got nothing else to do tonight. I caught up on a lot of stuff, so yeah, I don't really know what's wrong with this one. I don't even really know the specs of it, but we'll open up the side panel and we'll have a quick look. Alrighty, so we've got a an Asus motherboard. I can tell you that much. There's a sticker on the front that says i7. <laughs> Possibly an i7 under there. It's a newer looking sticker, so I'm assuming. Let's have a look at our memory here. Oh, it's a bit dusty. So we've got DDR3 memory. Tim? Yep. Ryan says, hey, Tim. Hey, Ryan. Hey, Ryan. How you going? Yeah, so DDR3 memory. What's this graphics card? This graphics card is... I can't even see a model number there. Nope, I guess we'll find out if we get it running. It's a there is some sort of display adapter inside this case. What is this sitting on? Fucking hell. Yeah. It's, it's got like this, have a look at the front. I think it's missing like legs at the back. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. All right, well, I mean, other than that, nothing else seems out of place here. We've got, we've got our CPU power, we've got our motherboard power. We've got four SATA ports, so what well, maybe I can see one SSD yeah yeah definitely so yeah I sent yours off yeah I sent yours off today I'll send you a tracking number and you can track it but that would have been picked up today so now other than that it's it's a pretty pretty standard looking build from from the time Looks like it's been built by a professional. I can say that just because of the, the cable management that's been done there. Um, for the time, that would have been a very tidy build. Because um, there's not much room for cable management in a case like this. So, let's go and fire her up and see what we can do with it. See what's even wrong with it. I'm not even sure exactly what the issue is customer told me that it's his ex's computer and he reckons she said it's not doing something not working properly I don't know he didn't seem to really know he's just bought it to me knowing that I'll have a look at it and fix it up so plug in keyboard and mouse just turn the power supply on Okay, so you probably can't see the fans from here, but they are spinning. And it looks like I got a post. Yeah, 
Now I've got a post. I'm going to Windows. And we're in Windows. I don't know, and that's that's always the worst, because how am I meant to repair something when I can't, I don't see a problem. So, all right. Yeah. Hey Mick, how you going? Yeah, so we just got this PC to repair. It's dropped into me from a from an existing customer, and um, he didn't really know what was what was wrong with it. And we've just tried to turn it on, and it seemed to just boot up straight into Windows. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if we can get this thing to to boot up to my USB SSD instead I don't have the um, the owner's username and password where's the button is that it there No, it's not liking it's not liking that we'll see if we can force it yeah okay so Why am I not seeing? All right, we'll just do it like this. Um, boot. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, uh, this is this isn't a build. This is a PC that was dropped off to me to repair. So. I think Joel said she said it booted up and then it, it only um, it only went to like a black screen but then it just booted straight up perfectly fine for us so not really sure and as to why my SSD won't fucking boot What's it saying on the screen? What's boot menu on this? Let me see. 
Oh, oh. I don't want to flash. F8 boot menu. Stupid thing. So we're just going to boot up slowly onto onto my operating system. Should probably make a clone of this drive onto another one, so I can hook it up via SATA. Because this is all well and good when I can hook in with USB C. But I don't know. For lack of a better for other things to do, we're just going to open up my operating system here and we're just going to go and see what we see So let me plug in some internet here quickly and we'll just get our drivers updated. As for what this PC is, I'll tell you that. So we've got an i7-3770 here, the 22 nanometer technology, so definitely the older generation, the Ivy Bridge. Maximum TDP of 77 watts. It's got a total of 8 megabytes L3 cache and what looks like a megabyte of L2 and what? 128 or 256 total L1. We got an Asus P8H77M. Heard about the new AMD CPUs? Um, what are you? Which ones are you referring to? Because there's 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 a few of them. You're talking about the the Ryzen 5000 series ending in the letter G, or you're talking about the non X SKUs, or which ones? There's quite a few coming up. Yes, yeah. yeah. There's quite a few coming up, so. So we don't have our graphics card installed yet, so I'll have a quick look at that once once that's done. But yeah, if you want to know how an old i7 holds up, not too well. The G's, yeah, the G's will be very, very exciting. So hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to get my hands on some. So I don't know, I don't think they're going to come to normal retail outlets. Okay. Looks like some, some stuff's getting installed there.
There's not really a great deal more I can do with this when everything's working fine. All I can say is that maybe we should be reinstalling the, the Windows operating system, but I don't want to go ahead and delete stuff on a drive if, um, yeah, if we don't need to. Yeah. Well, we'll we'll see we'll see what those prices actually look like once they get down to the distributor level and see what what it actually looks like. It should be good. It should be good, but you know, corporations gonna corporation. So, I mean, on the surface there, I mean, the CPU getting a little bit warm under load, but it's an i7, it's going to do that. How's the motherboard there looking? Temp indicator 8, 79 degrees. Get the, get the old thermal gun out here and see if we can identify that's a legitimate reading. Yeah, so I'm seeing the, the, the 48 here on the on the VRM. The 43 here. Not seeing anything quite that hot. Is there something I'm not feeling? Okay, we're back to this. So, yeah, it's an Intel stock cooler mix, so it's it should be it should be sweet. Alright, so now we're booting up with the updates all installed and we've got all the SATA devices hooked up. We'll just have a quick look at those devices and make sure everything's looking okay. 
And then we'll um, we'll finish up with this one because there's not really a great deal else we can do because as far as I can see this computer's functioning fine. It turned on straight away for me. Um, with a PC this old I sort of recommend reinstalling Windows. It's generally a worthwhile thing to do. Um, other than that, okay. So, system reserve that's just a partition, probably on this local disk E, which is probably another. Windows installation and so if we go to crystal disk info and have a quick look okay so our first SSD relatively relatively new it's only written 1.5 terabytes of data power on count 428 times in 534 hours it's like this person uses their computer for one hour at a time and put out WD okay but it's not crystal disk info is not even so what is the layout of that is that literally another partition on the same SSD. No, it's a separate SSD. Well, Yeah, it's an SSD and properties oh yeah that's mine okay and that's that other windows install there okay fine Everything's cool. It's an older model, but you know, two dim slots used, two out of four. Yep, 1600 speed on the memory, that's right. What is our graphics card? Whatever it is, it doesn't it doesn't talk to um, Windows Task Manager. It is a HD sixty six seventy, so definitely definitely showing its age there. If you want to see what I'll that looks that. like. So this is not a gaming graphics card anymore. <laughs> so this is this is the the power the Microsoft PowerPoint edition of heaven.
these wild clothes. Mm -hmm. We are bottlenecked by the USB 3 connection on this drive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, like, I mean, I think this one's seen better days. Yeah, but it's a relatively new SSD in there, it's already. She uh, probably just uses it for emails and stuff like that, you know. I swear I built this, like, I upgraded this. Got a crucial BX five hundred two hundred fifty gigabyte SSD on it. I don't remember seeing this one. I did. I upgraded four computers for for Joel. Mm. Oh, here we go. Here's something interesting. Look at this. Let me getting excited about a problem. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, I'm excited because this is exactly, this is exactly what, this is exactly what was described. Maybe the graphics card's dying. Possibly. But... Mouse is still working. Mouse is still working. If the graphics card's dying, I'm not seeing any artifacts on the screen. Uh, my advice would be, just given how old it is, that you probably you'd probably be worth exploring a cheap upgrade. Motherboard CPU RAM combo. Nothing else really has to change. USB three. Power supply's okay. Yeah, that's that would probably be the best way around it, just considering the age of the motherboard here. Um, if it's causing problems like that, and it's annoying you, then that would probably be the way to go. Because if it's not consistent and easily recreatable, it's very hard to nail down exactly what is going on with it. And so, what else can I do here? If I stress the CPU like this, and then if I go into like, I don't know, let's open up Chrome, Crystal Disk Mark, Hardware Monitor. just open some stuff up. Okay, so we'll memory test failed, locked or reserved by other apps. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, I know why. So hardware monitor is plugged in there. That be it. Yep. So I could run this forever, but. We're just going to run it a little while and 
Let's see what we're seeing there. I don't think we've got any memory problems though. So I mean, other than other than it's like a thirty-seven seventy, like it's it's fine. It's we've got it under load here, and we're testing the memory as well. Let's start that stress. What's that? Yeah, thirty-seven seventy. That's what's in here. I seven thirty-seven seventy. And I mean, it's it's stable, you know. So. Yeah, that just seemed like it was an error to do with the benchmark that I was running, which was overloading the graphics card a little bit. So, I don't know. Maybe some more information about the problem specifically, but I heard that it was just on boot up. Mm. So. I was expecting to see a problem on boot up, but no. Nah. I mean, we could let this go for for a while here, but I don't really have any reason to believe that that this would cause any problems. I just wanted to run this while I was running some other things, just to click on things and see what would happen, see if it would made made it stall, or see if it, we could recreate that problem somehow. So. That will be it for, for this one for tonight. And then we just got a laptop to reinstall Windows on. So that's pretty easy, pretty boring. So now's the perfect time to ask me questions. <laughs> yeah. No, I didn't notice anything when I had a, had a quick look before. But if I was to pull out the flashlight, I'd say if we had a problem like that, we wouldn't have got into Windows and we wouldn't have been able to do what we just did without it causing any problems. So all those capacitors, I mean, it's a bit dusty in this case, but all those capacitors are fine. There's no bulging capacitors. All of the chokes and resistors look okay. I can't see any evidence of corrosion. Oh, a little, little, little bit, but I mean, this is a motherboard that's over 10 years old, so. No, there's no visible signs of, of damage or um, degradation here, so it's all looking pretty good. So I would, I would, I would guess that it was just an ordinary Windows error that can happen from time to time. We've all used Windows for a while. You know, when you're running a heap of apps at the same time or occasionally on boot up, things can go haywire. I'd say that's probably what's happened this time. It's probably a bit of a knee jerk reaction to, to bring it back to the computer shop to have a look at. Um, but I mean, all in all, not really, not really a big deal here. So, we're gonna we're gonna unplug this, put the side panel back on, and I'll um I'll give Joel a call about this and find out what he wants to do specifically. Maybe see if you can get into her account and see if it doesn't go on her thing. No, I don't I don't think I don't think so, because if I loaded up another copy of Windows, it should be doing the same. Yeah, unless it's a corrupted Windows install, and I did recommend that, but the more I look at this PC, the more I think this is a PC that I actually upgraded a little while ago. 
So I'm like, the cable management's done well in here. <laughs> and the more I look at it, I'm like, hang on a second. Well, maybe you should look back to the videos that you did. I didn't. No, no, this is before I. This is before I did videos. Oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> there goes that idea. Though. Yeah, this is before I did videos, so. All good, seemingly. And so now we have a laptop to reset the windows on. So I don't know what the deal is. What have we got here? We have. Ooh, we've got a hard drive. Do you really want a hard drive? I don't know. I, I, I might. I reckon. I reckon I might. Might give old John. Jo like, man, do you really want a fucking laptop with a hard drive in it? I'll do it if you want, but. Why don't you just do it solid? Ah, Joel just messaged me. He literally just messaged me. Yes, yes, I remember. I remember that one, man. I thought. I thought. I rec. I thought I recognised it. Ha! He, he, Joel's on a Facebook ban, so he can't comment. Oh no! Hey, <laughs> you do? so Joel, Joel, what do you, what do you want me to do with, with this laptop? It's got a hard drive in it. Do you want me to put an SSD in it, or do you want me just to reinstall Windows on the hard drive? I I don't care. I just I normally replace hard drives in old laptops with SSDs. Yeah. My dad sent me a message earlier today asking if I had any problems with TPG and the internet. And then he sends me back a message like an hour later. I hadn't responded to him yet. And he goes, oh, don't worry. It's all good. I remembered that when when it doesn't work you you turn it off at the router and turn it back on again first before before you like worry about other things <laughs> he's like yeah it works straight away and i'm like yeah <laughs> nah, he's, he's 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 good he's good he's he normally tries to troubleshoot things before he rings you, unlike your mum, where she's like, oh my god, I have a problem, ring Tim. <laughs> he's, he's getting, he's getting old, old man. Oh, Jesus, how old is he? 70, 70. 77. Yep. <laughs> my mum my was my mum said to him the other day, you're gonna be eighty soon. You should have seen a look on his face, eh? <laughs> <laughs> he probably wanted to get <laughs> He wasn't he wasn't very happy. He's just like, oh fuck. <laughs> they seriously don't look their age though. No. No, they don't look and act their age. No. Oh well. Say anything? No, he hasn't said anything back. Alright, yeah, so we'll chuck a we'll chuck an SSD in this. Get a bit more performance out of it. Alrighty, what have we 
got here in this model we have our where's our disk drive located hopefully under this flap right here because that will make your life a lot easier Yeah, that's looking, that's looking drive-like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool, dual channel memory. Ha, huh, we've already, this has definitely already been repaired by someone. Oh, check that out. <laughs> what if we go to here? This is like a, what sort of hard drive is this? Totally. It's just a WD blue. Alrighty, let's chuck a let's chuck an SSD in this bad boy. Yeah. So that is all we need to do. Just drop that one in there. We don't need the the bracket there. And I can test that hard drive at some stage. And see what the status of it is. Now what have we got on this laptop? Ethernet, HDMI. All right. So I might want to plug some power into it. This would be just my luck that it will go flat as soon as I start using it. Okay, so we will grab our Windows USB, plug that in there, and we'll also plug in a HDMI cable so everyone else can see. Well, I should probably plug my keyboard and mouse in.
Okay. So yeah, Joel, I couldn't recreate the problem on that other computer. I, I put my SSD on it and played around with it for a bit and it was all good. And then when, um, why is my mouse not working? It doesn't like you. I can I can do this with keyboard. It's all good. Oh. <laughs> Why don't you just use the keypad the the mouse pad on the thing? Good idea, babe. But I hate that thing. <laughs> so now we'll have a nice responsive computer and we won't have to worry about the drag of this hard drive. What have we got here? What RPM is this? So this is October 2014 manufacture date. Doesn't say, I'm going to assume it's a 5400. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. What? Joel got banned for something he posted in 2019, three days ago. What? Yeah. He shared a meme with some nudity in it. And he got, like, in 2019, and three days ago, Facebook banned him for it. What the fuck? Yeah, I know. He just sent me a picture of it. It's like it's a bit naughty, but but it's not like. It's not, like. It's just a picture of a chick bending over and some words. But apparently you're banned for it, so... Somebody probably reported it. Yeah, yeah, that's that, what, that's yeah. That's what it is. That's what it was. Yeah, 100%. Someone three days ago reported you. No doubt. Yeah, that's got to be what it is, babe. You're you're hundred percent right. Because yeah. There was a really 
It's not like it's porn. It's kind of porn. But, but it's... It's not, though. It's, it's, a, it's a meme. Yeah, I know. I know, but Facebook just... I think there's like... They've, they've got automatic algorithms. Yeah, and it would have been stopped at the time of posting with those, with those automatic algorithm things. That, that happens. That's... Somebody's gone and reported that. Yeah. Because they're a sad, lonely person. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe they're a prude. Oh, don't say so. I guess those sort of things go hand in hand. <laughs> or it's jo Joel's, Joel's ex. <laughs> but it's a fucking meme, man. I know. It's not even somebody that he would be sleeping with. There's nothing to be butthurt about. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, it's fucking annoying, man. over here are a little bit loose.
So we might have a look inside. Looks like we've got some loose connections over here, inside of the of the laptop. So the Ethernet port doesn't work. These two USBs do. The HDMI does work, but it's it cuts out when you knock the cable. That's kept it, that's kept its value right up there. The the protective thing was on the, the five year old device. Now it's worth twice as much money. <laughs> oh dear. I, I don't know what goes through some people's minds.
that's not going to work. Oh, I was just going to see what this computer is while I'm waiting for this slow Wi-Fi to download everything. Got an i5-3210M, M meaning mobile SKU. That's a two-core, four-thread CPU. So it's basically less than it's less than a ninth gen i3. <laughs> oh yeah, so it's better. i7, it's got more cylinders, right? Mm -hmm. Very sparse stuff. Because <laughs> CPU model numbers are like car engines. No either. Yeah. Bigger the number, more power. No replacement for displacement. should all be downloaded by now. This should all be done. Well, there's not many apps to install here because this is not a gaming PC or anything. <laughs> Play Minesweeper and Solitaire. Yeah. 1080p. That's about it. Yeah. Don says hi guys, sorry I've missed a couple, been busy. Hey Don, how you going? Now we're just setting up, we're just doing a new SSD install and a laptop. Very, very boring stuff. But all work that has to be done. So how bad look how bad is our Wi-Fi? Tim. Johnson's complaints, Tim, you're never boring mate, I've learned a lot. <laughs> what have we got here? AR9485. And we've got a 610M, hey?
Yep. I don't feel like I'm going to sleep just watching it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I know, I know. <laughs> Can this thing run benchmarks? Or would you not want to do that because it's downloading and would that hinder the download? Um, because it's, you know, such a shit computer. No, it won't hinder the download. Um, yeah, okay, I'll show you what a GT610M is capable of. All right, so I don't have I don't have Reva Tuner installed, so you'll have to take my word for a second. Tim, Don't wants to know is that the world's first laptop? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh man, I know what they look like. <laughs> They're probably like three times as thick mm. as that. <laughs> It'll get there. Oh. <laughs> Going by what we saw before with the other computer, I reckon that's like, you know, oh, it's probably doing a little bit better actually, maybe just a little bit. Oh, They're about the same. It's probably like 10 frames a second, maybe just a little Eight. More. Eight frames a second. So I was a little bit generous there. Yeah. Twenty-five percent too generous. <laughs> Okay, so everything seems like it's installed. Seeing that the the um, network adapter appears to be installed, doesn't isn't showing an error, but it's not detecting my Ethernet cable. Is this computer usually connected by internet? Don't know. I'd rather that than the Wi-Fi that was in it. No, it's decided to no longer want to output 
to the HDMI port but it is installing some shit so we'll see what happens I think I think we'll do the reboot on it now. It'll come back. The screen will come back. It's back. <laughs> move the I move the screen. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. This is the world of ultra fast tablets and phones. Do you see a future for laptops where a good tablet can do most things nowadays? Um. Personally, personally, I, I don't, I don't see that as like laptops being a thing long term because of tablets, but. People seem to love laptops, so I'm hesitant to say, yep, they're definitely, um, yes, uh, like yesterday's news, but we're not getting, we've got this Ethernet port that is, doesn't seem like it's loose, it's not making any difference.
it's nothing obvious that <laughs> yeah, no. So real, realistically, the, the next step there would be to actually take the whole thing apart and then have a look at these connections under there. So once these final updates are done, I'll give it a quick tear down and we'll see what we can repair under there. Doesn't seem to be getting too hot or anything. Just a second on the toilet.
right this is nearly done so once we're done that we'll open it up and we'll see if there's anything that we can repair simply in there because obviously down this end of the laptop there is something wrong with the connections in there something's loose either someone's pulled this laptop apart and hasn't put all the bolts back or something's something's moved around something's come loose something snapped anyway we're gonna have a look at it Yeah, be downstairs in the garage. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Yeah. No worries, Mick. Have a good night. Nearly done. Come on. Yay. I don't think it needs to install this driver. It won't allow it to install. Okay.
Okay, so now we're going to remove the casing from this laptop. Yep, this, this laptop's definitely ha had someone get into it before. Missing bolts? No, there's a, um, there's like a tamper. Ah, oh, the seal. Tamper proof broken. thing, yeah. Well, we could, we they didn't, the they didn't the replace, bolt. they didn't replace the bolt under here. They've forgotten to um, replace it. So. Maybe they lost it because, you know, it was, it's pretty small. <laughs> yeah, I guess. That wasn't the right bolt for there. <laughs> Like, can tell someone's been in and they've upgraded the RAM. They've put an extra stick of memory in here. Yeah, and that hard drive had, um, cardboard. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like they've definitely been in, in, in this area. But this is just the memory and hard drive bay. And so now that we've done that, we should be able to... Yeah, yeah, now we can. It's just, it's got these clips. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Can I grab that? I just. I was like, Just chuck it at me. <laughs> there was a sneaky bolt here. Okay, I know this. I know this laptop. What have we got down? Oh, take this battery out. Oh no, they're, they're, they're terrible. Where are we? Where are we catching? Are there bolts under the feet? Surely not. Oh no, here we go. They love putting a couple of sneaky bolts in there, eh? They love it. You gotta make sure people don't fuck with it. Yeah, you gotta make it real intimidating for people to like put back together so they don't ever do this. Don't try this at home. Okay, so. 
what we've got here is we have these ribbon cables. So we need to undo these ribbon cables very carefully. And we need to remember which one is which, obviously. Oh, what have we got here? Ooh. Okay. Got some sticky tape under this ribbon clip. That's not a good sign. Okay, so now we've disconnected the keyboard. We can put the keyboard over there. Now we can have a bit of a closer look at the PCB around here. Very what? Familiar, the fan. Yeah. Oh my god. You've got a spare one right Very here. Familiar. Um, so I'm going to have to take this whole thing apart to get to the back of that. Is that right? Okay, so let's remove the PCB from the case. A lot of little bolts to get out here. We've got to remember which ones are for our PCB here. Carefully, there we go. Pull out our SSD, and we got this little cable here. We'll pull out, and we'll try to leave the others intact. Not seeing any obvious signs of damage, and I didn't think I would.
There's that chip. Okay, well, I can't see anything loose around here. All of these ports seem to be in relatively good shape. What I will do is quickly give this a blowout. Since we've got it all open. Okay, so now we've got our PCB back in alignment here. So now we've just got three screws. One. Bloody ribbon cables. Okay. So that's in place. Oh no. Done myself a mischief. I've put this board down 
right over a cable I need. Won't get too far without that cable plugged in. There we go. Don't want to forget those little cables. so you can actually see what I'm doing. And we'll plug back in this little clip here, just like that. We'll slide our disk drive. Actually missing a screw here for our disk drive. Perfect. So we'll get our disk drive screwed back in there. And now we'll put our keyboard back. So we've got a couple of ribbon cables here to reattach. total of three so make sure your your clips are in the upright position Get in there, you bastard. There we go. Clip number two. And clip number three. We 
have an SSD here. Plug back in. Oh, we've got some bolts to go in first before we do the battery. So I don't think I don't think we were successful with that Ethernet port, which is a bit of a shame. Alright, so we'll just get all this screwed back in. Can we fit a little screw? So now we just got a heap of little bolts to tie in. Yeah, so I don't think we were successful, babe. I couldn't see any physical damage or anything that I could repair. Mm -hmm. It would be like replacing the entire ethernet adapter, which is too big a job for a computer that's not worth this much money. Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll we'll give it a go. We'll see we'll see if pulling it apart and putting it back together has done anything. Mm -hmm. Stranger things have happened. Yeah, I was going to say some parts of that. But at least I can say I've investigated it.
favourite guessing game and where does this bolt go? I thought these were all the same gauge bolts, but apparently not. This is like very weird. Oh, it was together. <laughs> Do you have to attach like certain parts before other parts? Maybe. This is like kind of doing my head in.
this is like really, really strange that all these bolts just don't want to go back in. No. Finally. Oh, why is that sticking up a little bit there? You missed a couple of bolts, that's fine. No, no, the clips. There's one clip not in place. And so you probably couldn't see it from the camera but I could see it so it had to it had to change now as for how well this all works now is another question entirely Disconnected the Wi Fi. Just going to plug in with an Ethernet cable now. No Wi Fi networks found. And now we're not connected. For a second there, it showed that we were online. I've got a glimmer of hope. But it doesn't look like... The HDMI cable seems a bit bit more stable but still no ethernet which is a shame oh at least that that loose hdmi cable seems to have fixed up i did something <laughs> no that is that is very painful 
right, so we'll shut her down. And we'll reconnect the Wi Fi. Okay, so we just need to reconnect our antennas. Bit of a delicate job. Oh, I'm just saying, so, yeah, Wi-Fi's back, I should actually plug the cable back in, so that people can see that, that I actually did fix the Wi-Fi. Like, talking up my ass. Aha! Look at that! Do you know what I'm doing? I'm holding it. I'm putting pressure on it. But not... Put pressure on it there and it...
Hmm. Interesting. All right. So there is definitely something loose down there with that Ethernet connection. So I have to give it a bit of a brainstorm as to work out what I'm going to do here and whether it's is it just the outside of it? Looks like it is. So if that just gets held securely in place like that, it should be fine. Still very temperamental. So how come if I put the cable in the tense position, it didn't like it? It doesn't like you. So, I'm holding on to it, and it's staying solid, and as soon as I let go, gone. So, alright, well, I've worked out what's wrong with that Ethernet port, so... I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna leave it here for tonight. I'm gonna have to think about what I'm gonna do to repair it because it's a little bit interesting. Maybe I can reinforce that PCB. Maybe I can do something like that to, to fix it up, but we'll have to see. At least it seems like that HDMI port was fixed up. Plug it into charge anyway. Okay, so yeah, like I said, I'm gonna have to have a think about what I'll do to fix that. Might have to try a couple of things, but yeah, leave it with me. It's one of those things that that I've got to have a think about. It's not just a straightforward fix, but I think it's fixable. So leave it with me. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. A little bit boring compared to doing a new PC build, I know, but be sure to like and subscribe and I'll catch you all in the next video.